Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part three of how to use nonverbal communication to get fantastic results. In the previous part, I stressed the importance of making an excellent first impression. In this part, I'll complete this discussion and then move on to show you how you can project a positive, pleasing, warm, and vibrant personality that gets results. Now I've stated that you make 11 decisions about a person in the first seven seconds when you make contact. Now nonverbal communication plays a massive role in the overall impression that you give about yourself when you make contact. Now if the first impression you give is negative, well, you're in trouble. If the first impression you give is neutral, you still have work to do. Now after these few precious seconds have elapsed, and assuming you're still in the game, the new brain, the neocortex, will step in and attempt to make an evaluation of you according to certain criteria. Now you have no more than five minutes to capitalise on your immediate reaction, the immediate response to you, and sometimes only as little as two to three minutes. So what is the brain actually computing? What exactly is it doing during this critical first few minutes? Well, it's working furiously in the background on a number of variables, you know, observations, feelings, making connections about you both consciously and unconsciously. You know, you can swiftly strengthen your acceptability by adopting the right body language. This is where nonverbal communication can really be a, a payoff for you, but it needs to be done with precision. For example, your smile, is it genuine? And your handshake, is it natural, limp or forced? How close do you stand? Are you invading or evading the person? What does their nose pick up? Do you smell nice or rather nasty? So, and how do you stand? Are you standing tall or slouching? What about your eye contact? Is it maintained? or largely avoided. All of this information is immediately picked up. Now this information and more is constantly being sifted, analysed, gleaned, assembled and concluded. See, in essence, you match a mirror of person to determine their credibility, their suitability and their likability. And remember, you've got no more than a few minutes to get this right. Do you have things in common? Is this person like you? And are they on your wavelength? Open and engaging body language, your nonverbal communication will help you to accomplish this. If you project an engaging, confident and friendly manner, it will be a big step towards getting the kind of response that you want. Now it's essential to project you know, a natural and genuine confidence because a person will intuitively detect whether it is manufactured or fake. It's really important that you get the right mindset to make sure you do this properly. Other information on my website can help you here if needed. So let's look at further attributes, characteristics that will really help you to make the very best impression. Send this out to the external world and you'll always be warmly welcomed. Assume the right social status that generates acceptance. Walk with purpose, as if you have somewhere special to go to. Smile often and make it absolutely genuine, absolutely real. Now, we will be detected, so pay attention to the detail. Have a professional handshake. This will indicate how natural you are. Stand up straight, look tall, and maintain the perfect posture. Be mindful of the personal space between the two of you. Shake hands and then move back just a little. Whether you're standing or sitting down, make sure you maintain good posture, no slouching. Always keep your feet pointed directly at the person. Never allow your feet to point to the nearest exit. Your feet reveal how interested you are in a person. And keep your arms by your sides, avoid crossing them, and keep your gestures relatively moderate. In short, be well-groomed in dress, manner, and person. Now for your communication, to fully succeed, these signals need to be understood, used and controlled. It's so imperative that you communicate in the most positive 
and effective way. Only send out those signals that you intend to, the signals that you want to send, those messages that really make a difference. So that completes this part. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. If you could, visit my website, knowyourmind.com, my blog, mikelally.com. Also, if you wouldn't mind, could you please subscribe to my channel by clicking the green link above or the subscribe button just below so you will know when the next part is available. Please remember, you have many faces, so let's really put them to use. Let's really establish rapport in a much more powerful way by focusing very carefully on our nonverbal communication to make the very best impression to make it really count. And watch those results change when you do so. So until we chat again, take care. Cheerio for now.